Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new Grant track titled Lush. It's his first release in about uh, eight months. We had a heavy heart with Blank uh, back in February of 2024, and so now we've got apparently the, this new drum and bass cut from Grant. I've been a huge Grant fan, and so I am super excited for this track to give it a listen. So without any further ado, let's hop into it um, with new Grant. This is uh, Lush. Here we go. Very bright and, yeah. It's a lot right off the get-go, it just goes. Still going. Holy, woo, okay. This sounds a lot like some of the stuff Grant has produced for other artists uh, this year, I think. That's heavy. Okay, where are we going? The song just gives. Whoa, that was such a bizarre ending. That was so interesting for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, off the get-go, I really liked that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, and I like that Grant is doing something pretty different here uh, in terms of what he's released as a solo artist uh, in the past. Um, one, two things that this this song kind of reminds me of. Number one, um, it kind of reminds me of like older, like uh, golden era Monster Cat D&B, um, where it was drum and bass, but it was a little bit more playful, 
little bit more kind of, um, yeah, unique, a little bit more abstract drum and bass. I'm thinking of like a, uh, maybe like a hunted, uh, even some topi drum and bass that just kind of has like this, this different tinge to it. That's not quite your standard style and feels very, I, I do think playful is the best word to put it. And, uh, it reminds me a lot of that kind of era. And, the, and even with like the, the more kind of pushback vocals, uh, in the mix, especially in the not outro version or not outro sections, uh, it, it reminds me a lot of like a golden era monster cat style song. And, uh, I, I really love that. Um, second of all, I, I don't know if you guys have been following as Grant as much as I have been in the past. I, I love Grant, but, um, he's produced for a ton of other artists. Uh, some of the big ones I'm thinking of like Francis Kyle, I think it's how you say his last name. Uh, and even Tate McRae. This sounds like a lot of what he's been producing for other artists, other more poppy kind of more commercial friendly artists. Um, it sounds like that kind of style of production. Um, the whole kind of first beginning part um, had a very like Francis feel to it. Uh, and, and even with the outro, I felt a little more like Tate in that sense. But um, yeah, it, it's a really interesting uh, dynamic now to hear uh, Grant's more his core production elements now. Like it, it's not so much as fancy, like the future bass, uh, crazy, like just super explosive uh, runs and synth runs and, and melodies. Uh, and it's more of a, a more really refined sound of uh, that makes Grant Grant and the small little elements that I kind of pick up on here in there, like a certain like uh, up or down beat or just stuff like that that just kind of just just reminds me a lot of what I've heard from his other stuff that he's produced for other artists. And so uh, th this is a really fascinating uh, look into Grant actually holistically as an artist. Um, and I think the song is fantastic. Uh, I really love that Grant is still doing some solo stuff. Honestly, part of me thought he was just going to like bite the bullet of sorts and just be a producer's producer, like just kind of just just be a guy that just produces for the other artists out there and uh, people love him for that. But I really do love that he's still keeping um, some of his core uh, releases still to himself uh, and not saving them all for other artists and stuff. And so I appreciate that a lot. I, I like this tune a lot. I think, it, like I said earlier, it's a very like playful drum and bass style um, kick that just feel it just feels like there's a lot more going on than your typical drum and bass style song that has a lot more uh, unique melodies and leads and the like fake out in the second drop and they're just really dense almost compressed second drop uh sounds great and even that like 30 second like more like raw outro i mean like an indie outro of sorts that that kind of strips back the uh the like layer the digital synthesized analog layer that's over top of the track um to give it this this kind of uh yeah because in the beginning of the track it sounds the, the the vocals are a little buried some of the beats are a little buried just because that's intentionally and stylistic meant to be like this this all-encompassing like wall of sound DNB rather than this more intricate small sound design notes that Grant has done typically in the past and he kind of strips that all back or takes it all away for this kind of outro section where you hear um, the lyricism a lot more you hear the vocal inflection you hear um, the, the the instrumentation that it, it, it just it's it's a change up that I've never really heard from Grant that I really think is is fantastic. So um, yeah, I really like the song. I'm a huge fan, uh, and I I, I want to know what you guys think of this brand new track, Lush by Grant. You have to let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Motai Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.